Hello children, in this video we are going to learn how to add two numbers who are three digit. Let's start. Let's say we have 236 as the first number. Say you have 236 bags and you want to add 123 bags to it. Say there was a farmer, he had 236 bags from his first farm and 123 bags from his second farm and he want to go and sell his produce to the city. He want to find out how many total bags he have. So he writes 236 plus 123 just below it but ensure you write 1's position below 1's position, 10's position below 10's position and 100's position below 100's position. Write each position below it then only you can do it correctly okay so 236 plus 123 is equal to the underline we write the underline how much it becomes six and then you start doing position by position you start from one's position that is from the rightmost position you first add individual digits then you go to the tens position then you go to the hundred position that is you are going from right to left or from 1's position to 10's position to 100th position. Let's do it. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. So we did the 1's position. Now we move to the 10's position. Then we do 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Then we move to 100th position. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So the farmer has 359 bags in total from the two farms. Lot of bags, right? Let's take another example. You have 675 as the first number and the second number is 249. So, and you want to add the two. I want, want to find out what is the total after these two. So you write 675 in the first row, then plus, then 249. Just write below it and ensure 1's position is below 1's position, 10's below 10's, 100's below 100. And then you start doing the addition. And remember, you add from right to left or from 1's position going to 10's position, then 100. Not vice versa, okay? So let's add. 5 plus 9 is... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. So how do you write 14 here? As we saw in the last video, we will write the first digit, that is a 4 here, and we will write 1 as the carryover to the next position, that is to its neighbor. So you just write a 1, a smaller 1 below it. Okay, uh, above it, I'm sorry. Let's just write above 7, 1. So 5 plus 9 was 14 of which 1 goes here and 4 you write here. Now you again start doing the counting. 1 plus 7, don't forget this, 1 plus 7, 8, 8 plus 4, 12. Again, 1, 2, 12, you write the 2 here and the 1 goes to this position. And remember, you don't write 12 as 1 here and 2. You write 1 here on the neighbor to the, its left neighbor and 2. 2 here. So 1 plus 7, 8, 8 plus 4, 12. Of the 12, 2 you write here and 1 to the left neighbor. Now you move to the 100th position. You start doing again addition. 1 plus 6, 7. 7 plus 2, 9. That's it. So this big number also you were able to add very easily by just doing one position at a time. Starting from 1's position then moving to the tens position and then moving to the hundredth position and if you get a number after you add any position if you get a number greater than 9 then you do a carry over that is you write that numbers that like here it came 14 you write the ones position 4 here and the tens position to the left neighbor so you put the small one here let's take another problem 712 plus 589 this farmer is becoming rich here 712 bags from first farm and 589 bags from the second farm 
You want to find out how many total bags are there. So he writes it down below. Start doing one after the other. 2 plus 9 is 11. Write one here and one here. Just move to the next position. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 8, 10. So we write 0 here and 1, 10. Right? 1, 0, 10. 1 moves to the left neighbors above it. Now we again go to the 100 position. 1 plus 7, 8. 8 plus 5, 13. Of which 3 you write here. If there was another number, suppose this was a thousandth number, you would have moved the 1 here of the 13. But the number 1 plus 7, 8 plus 5, 13, as there is nothing here to carry out, you just move that number here. You write, can write here and you just write it down. So the answer is 1301 bags of wheat this farmer has from his two fields. Simple to add, just do start from the rightmost position and keep adding the number below it. If it's greater, do the carryover. Write the carryover value here and the ones position value here and then keep doing it. Then you again add these three. Then you again add these three. Then you again add this one plus zero plus zero is one. Isn't it? So keep practicing children. As you practice more, you'll become better and better at it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.